New MacBook Pro upgrades today. This was very unexpected, probably because Apple's not particularly proud of the MacBook lineup and they didn't want to talk about it on stage at Worldwide Developers Conference, but today we'll be detailing all of the changes that have been made. There's not a lot, so don't expect a huge refresh when it comes to MacBook Pro changes this time around because this is simply a website refresh. So without further ado, let's begin. So Apple mostly is updating the CPUs in the MacBook Pros this year, now shipping with 8th and 9th generation Intel CPUs so that the MacBook Pros will stay as fast as possible. The 15-inch MacBook Pro now by default ships with a 6-core CPU, an Intel Core i7 processor with turbo boost that's supposed to go up to 4.5 gigahertz, but now you can upgrade your 15-inch MacBook Pro to an 8-core CPU, which they're claiming is going to get you turbo boost up to 5 gigahertz with an Intel i9 processor, which I'm sure that probably only will happen in a freezer and there's also lots of other tech channels that are probably going to buy these things test them out and see how high they can actually be clocked because those babies are going to run hot but i think it's amazing because before if you wanted an eight core cpu you had to buy an imac pro it's not even been an option in the more recent imacs but now yes with a four pound package you'll be able to have a eight core cpu the 13 inch macbook pro has been updated as well though there's still quad cores there's no six cores or eight core options coming to the smaller 13 inch macbook pro they are getting performance boosts which are supposed to make the 13 inch macbook pro up to 40 percent faster than it was before and also apple has extended the repair program on the macbook keyboards which is long overdue they should have done this a long time ago but in case some of you rightfully were still very angry about that the macbook keyboard repair program has now been extended to all devices with butterfly keyboards so before 2018 macbook pros that were having the sticky key problem they were not covered under the repair program as of today, they officially are. And Apple also claims they're going to be working harder to ensure that keyboard replacements and repairs are faster than they were before. Plus, all the new MacBook Pros that Apple has released today with the updated CPUs have yet another change to the butterfly keyboard. While it is still technically the third generation, they claim they're using a new material on the keyboards that's supposed to drastically decrease the likelihood of the sticky keys problem. So if you buy a MacBook Pro after today, it will most likely be harder for debris and harder for failure rates on those keyboards, which I think is a good thing. Whether or not we will actually see problems going on, time will tell once people actually start getting these things. They'll be available in stores in just a couple weeks. But frankly, Apple, why can't we just redesign the butterfly keyboard from the get-go? Why do you have to keep making new additions to it? And they didn't say what the new material is. What did they change on the inside of the keyboard? We don't know. Maybe iFixit will show us later. But they claim this new material this time, yeah, now the keyboard will work fine and there's not going to be any problems. But anywho, to recap it, speed improvements on the CPU. Keyboard is supposed to be a bit more reliable now, and even if you have a 2018 MacBook Pro, that is now covered in the repair program as well. Eight cores on a MacBook, that's insane. In fact, the starting price for an eight core MacBook Pro is it's $2,800, which is high, but still, for an eight core CPU on a laptop of that thinness and of that weight is pretty impressive, in my opinion. I'm glad that they're keeping the CPU speeds up to date, but I feel bad for you if you just bought a MacBook Pro. That kind of sucks that you feel a little bit outdated now very quickly. But if you're thinking about buying a MacBook Pro, I imagine right now is probably a really good time to do it. I doubt there's going to be a big MacBook redesign anytime soon. If there is, it's absolutely soonest going to be in October. So you got a bit of a while before these MacBooks become replaced by some new upgrade. But that's the recap. That's the majority of what you needed to know. Let me know what you guys think of the MacBook Pro changes we saw today, as small as they were, by following me over on Twitter or checking out our Discord. Really appreciate it. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.